Hey, my name is Rick Rogers. I'm a social worker, addictions, and trauma counselor. Um, today I want to talk about motivation and getting ready to make a change. See, the thing about making changes is people want them to happen right now, right away. Um, whether it be uh, getting more fit or uh, eating better or uh, uh, quitting smoking or, or, or feeling better, um, not feeling depressed, like going to therapy and stuff like that. People want it to happen right away. And the fact of the matter is we're not looking for changes to happen all at once. We're looking for what's called incremental changes. We need to realize that change ha happens in small doses. And those small doses end up with big changes. There was a time when I was almost homeless and uh, PTSD'd out from Afghanistan. And now I am a therapist. I am a, have a master's degree. And I uh, am a manager of an outpatient clinic uh, addictions clinic and how did I do that well it took 14 years for me to get to a point where my PTSD wasn't overtaking me uh, I quit smoking in that time I quit drinking in that time uh, but it didn't happen right away every time I do a little I do good for a little bit and then I relapse. And then I started to realize, okay, hold on a second. I need to be compassionate with myself because what happens is we start judging ourselves and we start downing ourselves. And all that's doing is making us depressed. And when we're depressed, we're more likely going to go ahead and eat what we want and drink what we want and smoke what we want. Uh, because we get the efforts because we start suffering and we don't want to feel that pain anymore uh, we need to first of all allow us to feel the pain from our failure but also change our perception of what that failure is that failure is actually an opportunity it is an opportunity to learn what what was involved? What what happened? You know, going over that, writing it down and assessing and coming up with a plan for when that happens again. Oh, I relapsed. Well, a song came on and it was me and my ex's song and I missed them. And then I got depressed and then I started to get the efforts and then I started to use. Okay, when that song comes on, I need to change the channel and I need to practice some coping skills, change the station, whatever, and practice some coping skills next time. Um, breathing exercises, coloring, going for a walk, playing with my dog, something to distract myself and soothe myself. Uh, I'm not saying that you should just jump in and relapse because screw it, change happens in small doses. What I'm saying is when you do make those minor mistakes, don't quit. Stop, think, assess, and then come up with a new plan and do it all over again. Um, there's what's called the stages of change. And the stages of change are uh, something that we all go through with change and so it goes pre-contemplation, contemplation, preparation, action, maintenance, and then relapses in there somewhere. The thing is, we have to prepare before we take action. Sometimes we skip preparation and we just decide, okay, I'm just going to quit smoking. Well, guess what happens when you have cravings and they're very strong? You're probably going to relapse. And so I have to start thinking, okay, when I have cravings, what am I going to do? Am I just going to push through it? 
start thinking about something else, chew some gum. Uh, what exactly am I going to do to deal with these cravings uh, for me to be able to take action on my sobriety from cigarettes? And then maintenance is basically continuing to update that plan. And so I, I think this is important because we don't realize how important how how important a plan is we generally feel like well, I'm too, we generally get too lazy to come up with a plan you know we want to we want it just to happen right now we want maintenance and action to happen right now but guess what it's not going to happen that way not for most of us maybe some of us a little but not for most of us. All right, thanks for watching and stay mangled and strangled in peace.